Okay, here we are back again. Now we're going to take our smorgasbord of chords and we're going to make our chord progression. So listen to some of the film themes and choose one of those uh, film themes uh, from the YouTube video that you would like to sort of copy or even um, one of the film excerpts that we've set uh, in your project okay so this isn't your project you just make a chord progression so you understand what a chord progression is so click on that end bar line and we're going to make say an eight bar chord progression okay two three four five six seven Let's see one two three four five six seven eight Okay, so that's where we're going to put our chord progression in these bars. Um, don't worry about it. Now, that's just where we take our chords from. And here's an easy way of doing it. Say, for example, you want to start with an A minor. Just click on that, copy, put the cursor down here, and put it there. Now decide, do you want this to be a really fast moving or a really slow moving chord progression? Because we can speed it up and slow it down here. And here we might say make it say say it's a fast action sort of a, a thing, right? What we do is we um, if I hit the quarter note button there or crotchet button to turn into crotchet, copy, move that there, put that in there, I'm gonna turn that into a quaver. that there, turn it into a quaver. Now I might want that same thing again, so I've just copied that, I'm saving myself some work here. And now if I copy that whole bar, if I want to keep that rhythm pattern going because it's a fast da 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 da, da kind of a thing, and I'm going to use this chord here based on a B because it's a diminished chord. And it's got that kind of really tense sort of feeling, all right? Um, but the idea is you put these chords in, listen to it, and then play around with it and make the chord progression what you want. Okay, I'm going to copy that, put that in here, and I'm going to, don't worry when it does that, we can rearrange the bars later, move that up to a C. Now, in my next bar, I'm going to, because um, Note Flight's just trying to fit the amount of notes in, I might move that down here. Okay, here's an idea. Save us even a bit more time. Say I took, let's, let's get rid of that, and we go here, here. I'm holding the Shift key, by the way, and clicking on these bars. Copy all of that. Take that whole chord progression and move it down, okay? So I've moved that whole next bit down there. And what say we finish off with some nice slow chords because you can mix the rhythms up, okay? And I'm going to copy that one put that in there, and there we are. I've done that assignment for today, okay? Now I did that in four minutes, okay? Let's have a listen. Okay, now, uh, what uh, we might do is just change the sound. Go parts, click on that little pencil thing there next to piano, and we want to make a long sound. Go bowed strings, violin section. Okay, now listen to that. Okay, 
So um, that's uh, pretty much today's task. And it sets you up for how you're going to start actually composing your film soundtrack when you get into your work.